Good morning. So I got a video I want to do with you guys today here talking about stock market and talking about Las Vegas because this is where I live in Las Vegas. This is going to be big, obviously here for locally in Las Vegas, but this is also going to be big for really people who are looking to travel here to Las Vegas. And it can be a big sign for the overall economy and what's going on and what we can expect here going forward as it pertains to coronavirus and lockdowns and mask mandates and states opening up and all that kind of thing. So this is an article that came from CNBC about Morgan Stanley, how they see a huge Vegas comeback. And there's one stock in particular that they're thinking is going to be the best one of the bunch. This is a short article, but we're going to go through this real quickly. Then we're going to take a look actually at um, a couple stock prices of some of the casinos here in Vegas. You're going to see how these stocks have bounced back big time. So article says, you know, casino stocks are feeling lucky. Um, it says, with the vaccine rollout well on its way, gambling destinations are seeing a big recovery. If you guys have been watching videos on my other channel, Jacob's Life in Vegas, you guys have seen that more and more in videos I've done and live streams and stuff like that. There's more people coming back to Las Vegas than just a couple of months ago. So you can see on the ground level that there's improvement when it comes to people being able to travel. Now it says, with the vaccine rollout well on its way, they see this recovery. Um, what they see as a fast, strong recovery for Las Vegas. It says both stocks gained on the upgrade. It says, um, it says that on Monday, the Las Vegas is gearing up for visitors. Well, the visitors are coming. <laughs> They're coming right now. And there's expected to be more coming throughout the year, especially as you get into the summertime. Airline tickets from Cleveland to Vegas have quadrupled over the last few months, which, I mean, Cleveland's not like a huge market for people coming to Las Vegas, but I mean, you know, LA is probably the biggest market for people coming here as far as other nearby cities. But nonetheless, it makes that point that, you know, people coming from all over the country are coming more and more now to Las Vegas or being able to travel more. So yes, pool party staff at the hotels have been rehired. Yes, that is true. Um, they're getting ready for an influx of people right now. Yes, that is true. So the summertime is what's expected to be, um, is when I think a lot of people are going to say it's going to seem like it's Pretty close to normal or much more back to normal. Uh, this, is, this person agrees with Morgan Stanley that one of the Vegas Strip casinos looks to be the best bet on the recovery, and that is the big dog, MGM Resorts, the biggest employer here in the state of Nevada, and the one with probably the biggest footprint on the strip, the most influence around here. So they are the big dog for sure. So you've got a great sports club. Uh, exposure. You've got fantastic properties that focus on the non-high roller gambler. You've got pricing power coming back, and you've got an absolute ton of pent-up demand for people to vacation. I see that on my video for Jacob, my Jacob's Life in Vegas channel. People on the live streams, especially who want to come here, but they can't right now. So yeah, they want to socialize, just have fun. Absolutely. So definitely, there's a lot of people ready to travel, come back to Vegas, have a good time, and all that kind of fun stuff. So as Las Vegas accounts for 40% of MGM's total revenue. I knew it was a big chunk, but I didn't know it was 40% big. This is for fiscal 2021. The company is expected to narrow its loss to $1.92 a share from $3.94 a share a year earlier. Uh, this is a really good point right here. This article is going to close out in a minute. But this is a really good point. It says managing... Um, Director of VOS Advisors at Rockefeller Capital Management noted, another crucial part of Las Vegas is offerings business conferences. This is huge for us here in Las Vegas. It's such a big part of our economy. I've done, I've talked about this before in videos because, um, you know, the business crowd comes here for conferences. You get profession, a lot of professional people. So a lot of them have good income. So they spend their money, you know, at restaurants. They spend it at shows. They spend it at clubs, right? They go to bars, you know, and a lot of this for these Business people coming here, these conferences, are a lot of them are tax write-offs for the business, the business expense. So they can deduct a whole lot of this stuff. So that is absolutely huge for our local economy here in the Vegas area. So Vegas is going to be one of the first places that conferences come back to and people need to meet and where people need to get together, probably in the third and fourth quarter. I'd say it's a pretty good estimate. Um, as this rollout continues and the demand just keeps going higher, you're going to see these stocks go higher. Yes, you will. And this is what we're going to look at here in just a, sec a second. MGM and Caesars have both roared off their April 2020 lows. MGM is up 317% since then, while Caesars has soared 842%. And we're just going to look at from year to date, or actually, no, excuse me, from five-year calendar, five-year window, you can see MGM stock here. They were hanging around the 30s before everything 
everything went to hell with the virus. So that's where they were hanging around at. And then it just tanked here all the way to uh, below 10 bucks a share. This is where MGM fell, all the way below 10 bucks a share. Now, as you guys can see, they're up into the 40s. So, I mean, heck, they're higher than they were before all this even happened. And then Caesars, Caesars was yeah, in the 60s before all of this. So they were 50s, 60s, and then, man, fell off big to under $9 a share. You could have bought Caesars for at the very bottom. Now they've, uh, I think they made it back over 100 at one point. Yeah, they hit a, hit $100 per share. Now they're back down in the 90s, but I mean, still, from under $9 a share to now in the 90s, that is huge for these casino stocks. And But I mean, it's a good sign for the health of Las Vegas and really a good sign for the health of you know the country economically overall to see that people are being able to travel again and that kind of thing because you know Vegas is the number one destination tourist destination in the country so if people are traveling to Vegas that means people there's demand to travel people have money to travel people are um, ready to just get out and have fun and that kind of thing and that's going to be big for Vegas's economy and big for these casinos in Las Vegas and big for the shareholders of these casinos so guys tell me what you think about this down below I appreciate hearing what you have to say about this topic Las Vegas the finance side of it, the business side of it, all that kind of stuff. So tell me what you think about it down below. Hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in another video.